looked at me across the room You looked at me in my heart When boom, boom, boom If you knew how much I felt If you knew how much I fell for you Our next guest is Chloe Styler. Chloe, what a fantastic start to the year for you. Yes, I've just been super busy. It's been non-stop, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Now, the new single we're going to be featuring tonight is Sweden. Tell us the story behind that and don't leave any of the good mm. bits out. Sweden is written about this boy that I met on family holiday when I was 17. Obviously, my family was there. So I saw this boy and I thought, you know what, I might just go hand him a party popper. I thought he was very pretty. And I walked over and I, you know, handed a party popper and he said something in a language I didn't understand. And I was like, oh, where are you from? And he responded and he said, oh, I'm from Sweden. (laughs) And then quickly, without fail, my dad comes beelining across the room (laughs) and just interrupted the conversation before it really even began. And so this beautiful boy that I only learned that he was from Sweden about a second ago was no longer there. He walked away. (laughs) And I didn't learn anything else about him except that he was from Sweden. So I yeah, wrote a whole song about it, fell madly in love, and hopefully... He doesn't know it's about him because it's quite embarrassing. <laughs> I was just thinking, I wonder if he does know if he hears the song and goes, wait a minute, that could have been me. I met a girl once who had a party popper. We- I hope not. <laughs> well, have we got some exciting news. Open up line three, Tracy, because on line three, we've <laughs> tracked him down. <laughs> No. Oh, no, imagine. That would be quite a funny uh, conversation, to be, be honest, great, because I highly it? doubt he even remembers who I am. Let's take that <laughs> a little further then from the artist's point of view as the songwriter. So there's this yeah. moment of inspiration that this happened. What's that writing process for you then to go home? Was it immediate or was it down the track? When did the, was, the song happen? It was a couple of days later. Um, I was actually just sitting on the couch and the chorus idea came to me. It was just like um, a hum in in my voice, in my head, that's the word. Uh, but then I got the guitar and I sat down and it all kind of just happened within an hour. Once I had the idea, it was very easy to just articulate it. It's such an odd kind of inspiration, uh, the love at first sight kind of aspect, but I never really learnt his name. So I, I found mm. it really fun to play on and, yeah, just have lots of fun with it. So, okay, what does Dad think when he hears you sing that song? <laughs> He loves it because I call him out every time he's in the audience <laughs> <laughs> and I tell the story. But no, he, he just finds it a bit of fun. Um, obviously, that boy went back to Sweden and the love did not blossom. Dad is still very protective. <laughs> <laughs> so what's on the radar for 2020 for Chloe Styler? I am currently on tour with Tony Hadley on his Australian tour. We played Adelaide last night and I'm going to Brisbane, Sydney and Melbourne this week and then... I am hoping to release an album. I'm actually in the works of organising that with a producer and, yeah, I'm just writing heaps. I'd love to get to Nashville. I have lots of big plans, so I've just got to make them all happen. <laughs> and you mentioned they're coming to Queensland. So everybody out there that's listening that is in Queensland, we do have Chloe coming up a couple of times. Uh, we have her at the Tivoli on the 27th of Feb, and that's there with yep. uh, Tony Hadley. Then we're going to be back in Queensland, right up our way here, uh, down there at Kalanga with James Blundell. It's on Saturday the 18th of April at North Leagues. So we will have a few chances there where we can catch Chloe in the first half of 2020. Definitely, I'd love to see you there. And how, if they're trying to find you on Facebook, it's just the normal things, just Chloe Styler, they'll find you there, they'll find all your websites, all that sort of stuff? Chloe Styler on Facebook and my website is just chloestyler.com and Instagram and Chloe Styler Music. Well, Chloe, it was great to catch up with you in Tamworth and it was lovely to hear the story firsthand and thanks for sharing it with our listeners tonight. And we're going to play the single now. It is called Sweden and this is Chloe Styler. Mm-hmm. 